Hey there, happy Tuesday, happy new year, happy happies, all the happies. Um, so in the theme of goals and, and fulfilling goals and making goals and planning for goals and all the goals, 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 I'd like to take a moment to talk about those longer term goals or those repeating goals that we're not fulfilling, that we're not completely successful at, that we're not meeting, that we're not doing what we need to do in order to fulfill these, these repeat or longer goals that just don't seem to be getting any, any movement or any action, or maybe not as much action as needed in order to fulfill them. And so there's a couple things that we can look at here to see what's going on with these stinking goals. If they're like health oriented or weight or money or you know career or lifestyle, those bigger, bigger goals that we keep making for ourselves, but not fulfilling. So there's two things to look at when we're doing this. And the first thing is what the heck's getting in the way, right? Like that's the first step. What is or what are the barriers that are between your belief and want for this goal and actually taking action and fulfilling it. What is that wall in between those two things? Note that if the first thing that comes to mind are things that, let's just give examples. If the first thing, oh, I just don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have energy. I can't keep my focus. Those, if it's something like that, that is preventing you. If that's the first answer you give is, well, I just don't have time to do it. Let's take a look at that. Then the goal needs to shift. The goal needs to shift to this new, like, why don't you have the time? Everybody has 24 hours in the day. Everybody decides what to do with those 24 hours. Like, let's then manage the time, manage the, like, it's about shifting the goal towards the barrier to remove the barrier then so that then you can fulfill. Now, if this has been a longer term goal and you're still saying, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, and it seems like you've been, you know, doing what you can, Nance, I've done all I can, but there really are only 24 hours in the day and I still need to keep my job and I still need to do this and I still need to pay all of those things. Like, let's also take a look at, so if you've, if you've exhausted all of those options, like, no, really, I am doing everything I can within my power and it's still just not getting done. I've shifted my goals, I've made more time, I've made more money, I've made more energy, I've made more focus. Now what? It's still not happening. Then we jump to number two and we take a look at, is it the right goal for you? Like for the sake of what is this goal? Why are you making this goal? Are you making it for yourself because of your own desire? Are you making it because it's like a societal norm that you want to meet so that you fit in? Is it a goal that someone else made for you? Did someone tell you that you need to do this goal? Like what, is it the right goal for you? Like it, it might be time to look at, or is it an old lingering goal from another time in your life? And now and you're in a new phase of life and this goal doesn't make sense for you anymore. That can be possible as well. So really, I encourage you to take some time and sit down and think about, is this really a goal that that is valuable, that is needed, that is wanted for me, not for people, not for all women, not for all men, not for all fathers, not for all whatever. Is this a goal you want? Is it yours? What would happen if you let this go? What if just for a month you decided to stop ruminating and, and talking about all the things, you're, the goal that you're not succeeding at and not meeting, and what if you just let it go for a little while? Just notice how that feels for you. Check in with that. How does it feel when you release this goal? And that can help either re-energize, bring some clarity and bring that goal back to life in a new way that will help push you. Or maybe it just wasn't right for you to begin with. Or maybe again, it was right at one point in your life, but maybe not now. It's time to really, really go inward and decide for yourself as an individual, for you and your life and your choices, this one time that you have on this earth, is this worth all of the time and energy and focus and, and struggle? Is the goal worth it for you? And if so, let's do it. 
Let's get rid of those boundaries. Let me know. And if not, let's release it. And then figure out what is the goal that I want to do. And then let me know and let's figure that out too. But just a, a game to play, a couple different places to look if you're not meeting your longer term goals or your reoccurring goals. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.